The Tory rising star Mark Harper is back with another very, very good point in Parliament. Yesterday, when the Prime Minister was in chamber, um, we know that a lot of the MPs have been standing up to actually praise uh, the UK, but specifically England's efforts uh, for lifting all the restrictions, all the lockdowns and isolations and free testings and the NHS and all that nonsense. Good. Everything's great. But not everything's over. And also, don't just be complacent, don't give up. We still haven't completely secured freedom fully. And also, it's not just about England. We have the rest of the UK and the rest of the world as well. But Mark Harper focused on England specifically. And uh, just generally speaking, the efforts from the UK government said, sure, it's great that we've lifted, lifted restrictions, but there is one issue left. That issue is the fact that based on legislation, the executive, which is Downing Street and the cabinet, still have too much power. They can literally tomorrow, using the existing powers, uh, to impose any lockdown that they want without uh, going through parliament necessarily. Certain restrictions could still be imposed uh, without going through their democratic routes. And this is a very good point. Uh, listen to his uh, question. And actually, to be fair, the UK government need these voices to have the pressure. All of the lockdowns and the serious restrictions have all been implemented using the Public Health Act, some of them by ministerial decree, only approved by Parliament retrospectively. If we're to believe that next time will be different, why doesn't this plan include proposals to change the Public Health Act to make uh, ministers more accountable to Parliament now, rather than kicking it into the long grass, waiting for the results of the Covid public inquiry? That's a good point. The public health reform under the Act needs to be reformed because right now, um, it, it, for, for now, we should be happy, fine, we get it. But Mark Harper is absolutely spot on because if we want to protect the sanity and the actual logic of policy in the UK, and especially when it comes to Westminster Parliament, then we have to do it now so that we can't really be falling into the same trap. Let's just say hypothetically, if tomorrow Boris goes and Starmer is Prime Minister, then anything could happen. So take away the power from the executive now, even if Boris wants to remain a pro-freedom prime minister going forward. But what if he goes? What if the next person, whether it's Dharma or someone more terrible in terms of when it comes to public health, uh, like Jeremy Hunt. If Jeremy Hunt replaces Boris, he still has existing powers to do whatever he wants. And that power has to be taken away from the executive now to avoid any chaos in the future. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.